What is up, guys? So this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Arrow Season 7, Episode 3, titled Crossing Lines. This trailer doesn't give much away about the episode, neither does the the uh, synopsis. The promotional photos does a little bit, but I will uh, predict that this video will be a little bit shorter than most trailer breakdowns. But I will say the trailer, even though it doesn't give much away from the episode, it looks, just based off the trailer, to be a pretty great episode, considering it is fully nothing but scenes in prison. There are promotional photos of scenes outside of prison, but it feels like at least they're marketing the episode with the scenes in prison. So hopefully this episode will be mostly scenes in prison, because I would love to see 95% of the scenes of Oliver Queen, just like in Season 6 with the episode Fundamentals, which was the best episode of the season. big part of that is because Oliver Queen, who I've said before, is the by far the best character on the show, and really when the other characters aren't doing something that don't interact with him or influence him or affect him, I really couldn't care less, so I really hope this episode is like 90% scenes with Oliver Queen in prison. But with that in mind, let's actually watch the trailer. Green Arrow's joining our little game. Little game. You're a hard man to kill. He still thinks he's a hero. He wants you dead. Place your bets. Arrow. All new this Monday at 8, 7 central on the CW. So first thing that we hear in this trailer is that Brick says that Green Arrow has joined their gang. And then throughout the trailer we see the fact that that's probably not the case. It's probably that Brick... Um, Bronze Tiger and Derek Samson are all gonna like stab Oliver in the back, which I feel like will be a pretty awesome episode where just the whole episode is Oliver facing off against the prisoners or the fellow prisoners in jail. This is something that I wanted to see in the season. This is something that I was very excited to see. It's just a concept that I really like, just to have a superhero who would be a superhero for a couple of years and then put him in prison with all of the guys he put in prison and then he has to fight his, those people off. This time around, it's only three of those criminals, but that should be enough, and I think that should be an awesome episode if this episode is just entirely that. I feel like there will also be a revelation that Diaz is hiring Brick, Derek Sampson, and Bronze Tiger, or at least Bronze Tiger, because we do hear him say in this episode, he wants you dead, speaking to probably Oliver, talking about Diaz, and that could be uh, talking about something else, but it's very likely that uh, there will be a lot of backstabbing, and it's very likely that at least Bronze Tiger and probably Brick and Derek Sampson are working for Diaz, and if Brick is working for Diaz, then he is technically maybe a part of Diaz's team, which in the comics, Diaz's team, the Longbow Hunters, has Brick on that team, along with Red Dart, Kodiak, and Silencer are not on that team, but the Longbow Hunters have Ricardo Diaz, um, Red Dart, and Brick, so if Brick is working for Diaz here, then technically they are using that version of the Longbow Hunters member with Brick. It's also possible that he's not working for him, and Bronze Tiger is talking about somebody else to somebody else. It's possible he's talking about Stanley, and maybe Oliver has to go along with that, which this episode is titled Crossing Lines, and I feel like that might be a reference to Oliver doing something incredibly insane, something that is obviously a line that he's crossing, possibly killing or injuring Stanley in order for in order for Oliver to catch Diaz or for him to survive, as well as catch Diaz and survive in jail. But crossing lines, very interesting to me. I feel like this episode could go to one of two ways. Either Oliver does not cross the line or he has the option to cross the line and he doesn't, which could be a very heroic sacrifice. Or he does cross the line and uh, the show kind of jumps the shark, making Oliver kind of a villain. Because if he actually kills someone like Stanley crossing that line, then uh, it'll make him kind of a villain. He's a bad person, if, even if he is going after Diaz. This also fits the, the, the synopsis of the episode where it says that Oliver is facing his biggest challenge yet. I don't know if that means his biggest challenge in jail or the biggest challenge he's had over the last... 12 years since he got on the islands, which is a lot of years since then now that I think about it But I think it's probably talking about his big challenge in prison And I feel like that crossing the lines title mixed with that and mixed with uh, the tone of this episode and really the Vagueness the synopsis has and the trailer as well It might be pointing to something like Oliver doing it's something insane something that obviously crosses the line like killing Stanley which, like I said earlier, could be a kind of a jump-the-shark moment if it's not executed well, and if it is, 
then it could probably be great and it could probably have Oliver just really try to get over that throughout the rest of the season or try to or have him pay for that throughout the rest of the season but either way this episode will be probably insane based off the promotional photos the only thing that's happening in this episode outside of the prison scenes is Felicity teaming up with the FBI which is something we saw at the end of the last episode as well as teaming up with Dinah and Renee probably to take on uh, Ricardo Diaz and take on the Longbow Hunters. I don't really have much to add to that. just wanted to let you guys know that that's something that's going to happen in this episode. Hopefully it's a very minimal part of the episode and the prison scenes with Oliver is the vast majority. But anyway, I did tell you guys that this video might be a little shorter than most trailer breakdowns of Arrow and like I said, not much to talk about, but that's actually a good thing. I do like the vagueness of this trailer and also the synopsis. I mean, it does, it does give me less to talk about but I do it does get me more interested in the episode just because it doesn't give much away and in this trailer the episode looks pretty badass and who knows the episode might not be very good I highly doubt that but I do think that this trailer is a great trailer but also let me know what you think about my theory that mm, Oliver might kill Stanley or might injure him or something or maybe fake kill him which I didn't actually talk about in this video but it's not really specific to that it could be anything like Oliver doing anything that's not moral which is saying a lot for him but let me know uh, what your thoughts about that are in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching